What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dina and we're in the kitchen today. If you watched my last video, you saw me pick four watermelons from our garden. This is one of them. There were two Charleston Grays and if I'm not mistaken, the other two are yellow watermelons. They might be sunshine melons, but at this point I think that they have been crossbred a little bit, so I see them as a custom melon. These yellow watermelons are really delicious. They are super sweet with a hint of tropical flavor. If you've ever had those yellow kiwis, they have similar flavor profiles and it's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, watermelon. I saved seeds from last year's sunshine melons and that's what I grew these from. And I plan on growing them for the rest of time because they're so delicious. This one has been chilling in the fridge, so it's nice and cold and ready to slice into. Without further delay, let's cut into this baby. So this season we actually had another yellow watermelon, actually a few of them, that had a dark green skin on them, much similar to a sugar baby watermelon, but they were yellow on the inside. So that's why I say that my yellow watermelons have been crossbred because there is no specific variety that I planted or that I've looked up that matches these melons. This one is very close to the sunshine melon because it does have the contrasting stripes. Whereas that other one, I'll throw in a screenshot of it. It had the dark skin all over and there were still stripes on it, but they were very subtle. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Yellow watermelons, man. I've never seen them before I grew them. So I encourage you guys to uh, try to get some seeds and grow them yourself. If you've never grown watermelons, they're really fun to watch grow. They multiply in size each day, so every day you go out there, it's a joy to see them getting bigger and bigger. So my favorite way to eat watermelon is just to grab a spoon and dig right in. I will eat the seeds, but I don't like to because I like to save them for growing. Oh man, that is so, so unique and good. Watermelons, of course, are super hydrating, hence the name. So I really love that uh, towards the end of summer, we get a lot of watermelons in the garden. Just another reason to grow your own. If watermelon is one of your favorite foods, I highly encourage you to grow. And if you are growing watermelon and you're not sure when to pick them, I have another video on my channel with three signs that the watermelon is ready to pick. I will link that below. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to enjoy some watermelon with my dogs. Please share this with someone who might find it useful. Until next time.